All right. So for, actually, first tell me tell me your name so I've got that. Uh, my name is Gene Dillard. I'm on uh, Instagram, Dillard.Gene. And how did you get started with the works in the yard? Let's take uh, a look and you tell me what you did. Well, the first thing I, I started was, was with flat stuff, okay? And I did a, f a few flat things, and then I, I did the arbor there, and then I jumped to 3D. 3D was a real simple jump for me. And I did the woman's around the corner there uh, with the Elvis Presley belt and the umbrella. Walk with me and show me here. Yes. All right, this is a, a woman with an Elvis Presley belt and an umbrella. And she was the first three-dimensional object I made. And then I did a, a surfer coming from, I used to be a surfer in high school, and I thought it worked really good with this hill. And this guy here is a surfer. And I had a UFO there. But I, I didn't like it. I figured that's what every middle-aged guy needed was a UFO in his yard, right? <laughs> and uh, you can't really see it, but up in the tree is the, the, the alien that came out of the UFO. Yeah. Uh, you probably can't see it real good. Because yeah. I'm starting a new... Um, oh, yeah. okay. I'm breaking this I up. made the dragon that was holding the mailbox. And see, it goes in the ground and comes out. And then its tail is the light up there. You probably can't see it. And then, and then one day I was, I was here and I was making uh, uh, this hand railing and these kids walked by and he said, Hey, mister, you ought to make the hand railing a, a snake. Like, Whoa, that's a great idea. So I tore it out and that's what I did. I made the snake. So whoever those kids are, if I ever see them, I'll have to thank them. Helps her see it in and Yeah. It's the possibilities. But, you know, if you look at, at these figures, there's a lot of bending and welding, so I was already into tedious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, tedious works for me. <laughs> I like it too. I like I like ironing. Oh, there because you go. It, because I can just zone out. Yeah. Okay, and this piece here was, uh, we have the American Dance Festival here, and this was uh, inspired by Palabolus, the dance group. They're kind of very gymnastic. Uh, yeah. Cool. Is that the right name? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so, uh, I, at that time, I, I was into modern dance. Yeah. And uh, okay. What else do we have? Well, we got the house. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mikasa, we do. Sukasa. <laughs> yes, we do. So, how did the decision to gild the lily begin? Well, um, I had a midlife crisis and I went away to the Peace Corps. I turned 50 in the Peace Corps and then I came back and I started with the bottle wall in the backyard. Do we need to go over there? And, and then I jumped to the garage. And started mosaicing the garage. It was just a easy transition, and, uh, and I'll never forget the first thing I, I mosaiced when I grouted it. I was, felt like Kramer on uh, what's that show? Seinfeld. Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, whoa, man! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> and I uh, haven't looked back. So we'll go back and visit that in a second. But we're gonna look at the, the front of the house in a second. So when you did get to the front of the house, tell me about this process and how you envisioned the light. Well, it's, it's been, it, what it's been, it's been like a lot of decisions I've made in my life. I never understood the ramifications and I didn't really un know how the light would act. I just had a, this thought of covering it with these little pieces of mirror and I thought it'd be nice, but I had no concept of what it'd be like. So where did you find all of the materials? Um. There's a, a, a store in town called Scrap Exchange, 
and there uh, by their by their um, uh, insurance laws they're not allowed to handle mirrors so people would give them mirrors and so they would call me and that's how I started getting a lot of them and uh, or I'd go pick pick them up at people's houses and now people know I, I do this and so now I people drop mirrors off or, or so we act like it's a really normal thing to just start creating an artwork out of your house but it is not a uh, it may be normal but it isn't standard <laughs> how, how did it occur to you you know what what was your thought process to get you actually saying let's do this well I was a, I was a repair man uh, that's what I did for money for uh, all my life and and I and at some point, I kind of started resenting the fact that I was repairing what somebody else designed. I wasn't, you know, I didn't, uh, uh, you know, I wasn't able to go to college for, uh, to, to repair stuff. Or, I mean, design or whatever. And so I just started, that's what really led me to start making this stuff. Uh, is the need to create something for myself. And uh, um, then one day, I... I, I I realized, you know, I've, I've lived in this house for 20, uh, for 15 years, and I don't have any idea uh, the concept of who lived in here before me, and the house was built in the 40s, so I decided to personalize it. I realized, you know, everybody had, gets their homes and they worry about resale value, and it's not necessarily a home. It's, you know, that's why earth tones are real popular, and so I decided to go outside of that little norm. So, you decided to use your home as your canvas? Well, I guess so, yeah. Because you didn't know who came before, but nobody was going to forget. That I had been here. <laughs> yeah, It's kind of like, I guess, a kid that writes his name on the wall of a bridge. <laughs> Graffiti. No, I guess not, but, you know, I don't know. And so, consequently, you know, once I start opening up that creative door, it just keeps opening, and uh, and that's the fun part. So now we're walking along the side of the house, which is also uh, similar to the front, right? Right. Which is now that it's sort of golden hour, it's starting to really catch. It's really starting to shine. Um, yeah. Now this this. Uh, Everybody always asks me two, uh, two questions, like, oh, how many pieces? Well, I don't have the slightest idea. And how much time did it take? People always want to know. And this wall, I actually kept track of time. And so tearing off the siding I had on there and putting the uh, support wire and, and, and breaking the mirrors, I have 500 hours in it. In it. Uh, there's 200 there's 2008 working hours in a year if you work an eight-hour day So you can kind of estimate that and I'll never forget I got it all ready and I got my my mirrors and my thin set and I got I put a ladder up there at the very top and I, I got it climbed up there and it was a hot day and I looked down at the whole wall that had to be done and I said, why am I doing this? I have perfectly good siding before. <laughs> I said, oh, there's something not quite right here. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> As we say in the South, you're a little attached. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I'm going to get a close-up of this again. These gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, so that's right. I'm supposed to be serious yeah, here. Yeah, right. You're the serious how artiste. How lucky am I, you should ask. Well, that, that, how lucky am I? Well, so, that, okay, we're in, we're in the backyard. Now, This you, one might think that the gorgeousness ends here, but no, because we come around the back, it's a little dark to see, but you've got the entire back of the house, the entire fence around the back of the house with its beautifully askew windows, and we'll get to that in a second. Got your vehicle, and then we have your... Man cave. <laughs> so
So it looks like a spaceship. Tell us, tell me about this. Uh, yeah, some, somebody called it my time machine too. So um, tell you about what? Oh, the time machine, the man well, cave, the well, spaceship. Well, you know, the thing, the thing is, a lot of this is just being playful. You know, it's uh, I've had some people from Duke come up and they start talking about negative space and 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 you know and tension and and, and I looked at them, you know, and I'm like, yeah, they were they were pretty women, but I said, man, you guys have read too many books, and I, I just walked off. Yeah, I couldn't take it. You know, I I don't know what all that means. You know, I'm just having fun. I'm just a, an old geezer having fun out here. You know, so this is geezerville. And you have no formal training in 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 uh visual art no no uh okay let's back up uh i took one one charcoal drawing class at duke uh, uh, night school and and but but all my figures kind of looked like the michelin tire guy <laughs> you know so i really i was embarrassed to show them <laughs> they just just mounds and mounds and mounds of tires <laughs> so, so so i quit so now we've got, okay, so we've got your man cave. This, uh, how did you get inspired to make it uh, look quite like this? Well, I, I was working on, I, I couldn't, for, for a long time, maybe about 10 years, I had just the frame up and I had the ribbing on it. And, you know, like I put a shopping cart and bicycles up there and I may put a couple statues and nothing really spoke to me, you know? I couldn't, I couldn't quite come up with it. And I was coming up the driveway working working on the house and I kept you know I kept I kept catching my eye and so that's when I decided well I'll you know I'll put mirrors on it. I got I got tons of mirrors, I might as well use what I got. And bottles. And bottles, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, uh, that's that's how it evolved. Do you spend much time sitting out here? Uh well in the fall and winter I like sitting out here. You know, in summer it gets pretty hot. Yeah, but you know, this time of day, evening, yeah, it's fun. I've I've even had people come up and they've had uh, picnics in there. You know, and and I'd say by the the look on the woman's eye, look, it was going to be successful. <laughs> Once I'm... again, I'm somebody's wingman. <laughs> One thing I love is how you first take in the front of the house and then you sort of peek is like, holy cannoli, there's something else growing back there. Well, what happened was, you know, I started with the bottle wall well, and, and, and then I did the garage and nobody ever saw, saw it. And then I did the back of the house and nobody ever saw it. But when I started the front, that's when, that's when- The car started stopping. That's when things started, started. Yeah, that's when everything flashing. started happening. Yeah. So let's talk about the bottle wall. Well, it's my bottle wall with Savo, I call those my Savo Bar, Savo Bar do, Dolly wall windows, because they're cockeyed. Oh, I know. Or, or Wizard of Oz. Yeah, the, there you Dorothy's go. house yeah. after the tornado. That, that, actually, that wall, you know, that was kind of, that was the first concrete thing I did. And it was a leap into, you know, maybe some abstract, something abstract. I love all, all that. I love you know, that. all of it. I mean, yeah, it's physically it's, it's work, but it also takes a lot of kind of. You got. I gotta let my brain go. You know. Yeah. yeah. She says, yeah. It's like meditation. <laughs> you what? It's like meditation. Oh, yeah. And then, when did you do the back of the house? Uh, well, I, I went. I went from the, the wall here to the garage. The front of the garage was first. This side was second, and then back was last, I mean third, and then I did the back of the garage. Let's go to the garage. I mean back of the house, excuse me. Let's go to the garage. So the garage is a little more representational. We can see these are flowers instead of just, you know, shapes, sh shapes yeah. Negative space. <laughs> <laughs> but how, you know, how, it, it's a little bit just sort of like, prettier yeah uh um a friend of mine was working with me and, and we went back and forth with the design more that was more thought out uh, a woman friend but uh we got started on it and i guess she kind of it was a little you know she kind of 
I don't know, quit working on it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a little daintier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, and then, then I, I recently added the, the, the uh, skeletons. Most people have skeletons in their closets. I got them on my garage door. Yeah. Man needs his skeletons. <laughs> Keep him happy in his nursing home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so tell me about some of your raw materials. It looks like you've got piled up right next to the actual Just finished art. It's a lot art. of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? It's just a lot of crap. <laughs> Well, people give me mirrors, and I don't know what the hell to do with them, so I stick them here. <laughs> yeah. And then they become, they eventually find a home somewhere as part of the mosaic. Well, yeah, what I do is I take them in the house, and I, I stretch out a painting tarp, and uh, I get a big plastic bucket that you mix concrete in, and I break them in that. And then I spend many hours using tile nippers, nipping them by hand. And that's probably why I'm single, because most women would say, do you have to do that in the living room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you know, you, you, I mean, I enjoy what I do, obviously, and also it's, it's um, you got, I, I try to keep my sense of humor about it, you know? That way it's not all serious, you know? Uh, I, I want it to be playful. This is my fantasy world. Isn't your fantasy world playful? Well, I, maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your fantasy world, lady. <laughs> oh, was that on camera? <laughs> Have you got? But it on? doesn't <laughs> involve breaking mirrors in my living Why room. Not? <laughs> so, I know, Why not? I know. I know. I know. I mean, call me crazy. But so, how did you get the idea to have the uh, uh, splotches on the on the roof? Um, well, I, 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 was up, uh, I was up on the roof and I was doing the, measuring my chimney for, uh, for the, the thing up on the uh, chimney cover. And I, was look, I started looking around all the other roofs and I said, you know, roofs are really pretty damn boring. So I said, you know, I think I'm just gonna throw a little color into it. I'm gonna need a new roof anyway, so I might as well. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, um, and that's when I say, you know, there's a dinosaur, a flying dinosaur did it, you know. Pooped on my house. Can we say that uh, in the movie? <laughs> we can say anything as long because as we're having fun. As long fun. as you can edit it. Yes. <laughs> so at this so, time of day, this is really just stunning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, now see, see this part right here? Oh, I don't want you to see my bald spot. Yeah. <laughs> No, so so this little thing here, a na uh, a neighbor, her daughter made that like when she was in third grade, and it broke, and so they gave it to me. They moved, they were moving, and so I stuck this bottle in there and put it in. Now that that little girl is now in D.C. as a nurse, and, and the mother has moved to Charlotte. But so you know that little neighbor stuck there. Yeah, yeah. And then, about how long ago did all this start? When you first began with the sculptures, about what? You... Uh, about 20 years ago. And yeah. what's the most recent addition for to your collection? The, the yard we haven't looked at yet, the side of the, the house? The side of the house. Okay. Now see, some, some little kid, uh, some lady actually, a poet gave me my, her last marble. I saw that marble. And I, and I stuck it in there for her. A yeah. poet? Yeah. Is it okay to say her name? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> uh, Diane Gallagher. Diane yeah, Gallagher. She, she, uh, she was a counselor at, um, at uh, the local high school, and now she's back up in New York City. Oh. Yeah. Is she like brownies? Oh, good, yeah. We brought you brownies. Oh. <laughs> Do you like them? Because sure. seriously, they're... they're they're not hallucinogenic either. I made too many until I go on to give them this. Well, you know, I'll give them to you. Let me see, a lot of this, you know, has happened. It's, it's like my fantasy world, you know, and I'm trying to create. And, and in our, I'm not going to say what my political affiliation is, but in our current time, you know, people get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Now, see, that's, that's another thing I did not bargain for, is how much enjoyment people get out of, of coming here. And I'm somewhat of an extrovert, you know, uh, well, I am an extrovert, so I enjoy sharing it, you know, so. 
I think that would be a very bad combination to create this in a residential neighborhood with houses this close and ha and to not be an extrovert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and my neighbors do encourage it, you know. There's yeah. been no neighborly complaints? Not yet. As property value goes up, it might. <laughs> So at one point I was talking about like, you know, donating it to the uh, North Carolina Art uh, uh, Council, and it could be used like as an artist oh, retreat yeah. place, or you know, somewhere somebody could stay while they're studying writing or something. Well, when I kick the bucket, because you know this is really about me right now, and, and my kids, you know, they're, you know, they're not gonna know what the hell to do with it, <laughs> you know. What do your kids think of this? Your uh, kids are adults, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, they, they seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my son, he went to Cooper Union, an art school. And so he gets a kick out of it. And I tell people, you know, I take after him. You know, he doesn't take after me. Because he, he's kind of encouraged me along the way. And my daughter, you know, uh, at first it was like, do you have to do that? And now she likes it, you know. Yeah. All right, hang on. So this is the uh, most recent um, part the, of your... The last wall. I'll probably go through post postpotum wall blues. Yeah, and this, is, this, this here is a bookworm. And, and uh, I, I, was probably, I couldn't read when I was growing up, but I always had a great respect for books. And so uh, one of the first things I made was this bookworm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so so tell because right. it's a little dark here. I love the bookworm. I would buy this bookworm. But tell me about how you're doing these uh, worms on the side of your. <laughs> well, uh, the first set of worms that are that are finished, uh, I made them right on the wall, and I wove the metal into the support metal. And these I've had to make uh, separate. And I'm now covering them in uh, glass beads, and I'll grout them, so they will—they'll look like those others somewhat when I'm done. And you probably can't see, but there's little black birds. And skulls some people say that. Uh, like some of my neighbors say they look like bombers. Now, if you look right over, you can see. Now that's what the siding in the house used to have. The blue siding that's what it used to have the whole house was wrapped in it and it was perfectly good until i took it off yeah so i know that sometimes you are referred to as an outsider artist and what's your well, um, feeling about that well the thing is it is true that i i'm not a trained artist but however you know i do i do have like internet and books i can look at so it's not like, uh, uh, it, you know, I'm just having an, oh, wow, well, I'm doing it, you know. I, you know, so I don't see myself as an outside artist, but I do get called that, yes. And you like it, dislike it, or are neutral? I, well, at first I didn't like it. Well, it, what, what kind of amazed me was people would l label me when I started. And I, I didn't get that. Like so, uh, I had one friend's wife come and say I was ADH or DDT or something, you know. You know? <laughs> and, and you know, and it, I was just a guy having fun, you know. So, yeah. So yeah, I didn't like that. But people, people got to put me in, in uh, all of it. We we do that. We put people in our little boxes. Well, I think that's human nature, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Except I've known a few people who won't do it, who won't label others, who say, yeah. I don't believe in labeling people. But most people label people. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could fix it, but, you know, I'm kind of sick of that. This is, yeah. this and when is I get, with his wife, Claire. And when I get sick of uh, doing um, this, I'll, I'll move on to something else, you know. Do you have any idea what you'll move on to next? No. Mm -mm. Well, I think people would want to buy things like that. Like she said, she'd buy it, the bookworm, and any of those those statues, things that people could buy and take home kind of thing. 
I don't suppose you'd want to spend 20 years of your life doing somebody else's house for them. No, no. And the thing is, you know, not that I have enough money. We never have enough money, yeah. but but I've done enough for money. Uh, this is something I do. I, I won't oh, okay. sell anything. Oh, you won't? Okay. No. And I, this okay. is just something I enjoy doing and, and sharing it with people. Yeah. Well, I wish I could do something and sell it. So I guess that's why I <laughs> slapped that on you. <laughs>